In today's video, we're going to be making a horror game in Scratch. Uh, I've never really attempted this before, so we're just going to kind of see how it goes. And yeah, let's get started. So similarly to the Devlog series, our player is just going to be a bald circle. Um, yeah, so most horror games remind me of Dark Mazes for some reason, I don't know why. Which is why the setting for this game is going to be a scrolling maze. So I spent a couple minutes designing a maze, and I think we can both agree that I can't draw mazes. So instead, I found an online maze generator, and I borrowed it, and it looks pretty good. However, since the maze is a little too big to enlarge, I had to use that hack where you enlarge an empty costume and then switch it to the one that you want. And then after designing some collision detection, we have working player movement. However, to make it seem like there's not an endless abyss outside, I added four black rectangles on the edges of the maze to make it seem like you're trapped inside. Finally, to make it really seem like a horror game, I limited the player's vision by using a transparent gradient, and it honestly looks super cool. Finally, we could add like an enemy thing to the game, and I kinda chose like a weird monster spirit entity, I don't really know. If you couldn't tell already, I'm not the best artist, but I think it's enough to scare a three-year-old, so pretty good. Anyway, um, now we need to actually code the enemy's movement, which is basically scrolling pathfinding, which is pretty easy. <laughs> I've spent the past hour and a half fixing these stupid errors. If you couldn't tell, it doesn't work. I've I've frankly given up. I I don't even know what this is at this point. It's it's 2 a.m. I I just want to go to sleep. Okay, I give up. He phases through walls. He's a ghosty spirit. I think he's probably supposed to do that. I don't know. Whatever. I, I, don't, I don't care. Well, anyways, back to the actual game. I was thinking that in order to make it harder than it already is, in order to actually escape the maze, the player would need to find some keys in order to unlock the exit. So after working on some key art and UI, once you collect three keys, you have to run all the way back to the exit and finally win the game. I forgot to add that I did create a minimap, especially because I learned that it's extremely easy to get lost. It's a little buggy and definitely not super perfect, but it does the job. I also added a key counter, especially since the variable is kind of ugly. The last final touches would be adding sound effects and music and a you died and windscreen. Now the windscreen was pretty easy, and I would have done a jump scare for the you died screen, but since Scratch is notorious for taking down horror games, I made it a little less scary. <laughs> Also, you can speedrun the game now, though I doubt anyone will actually even finish it. It's kind of hard, but yeah. The link to the game is in the description. Play it for yourself, get your soul stolen, maybe even win if you're a pro gamer. And yeah, subscribe. 